This is the main battery of the Odin. And here we have the main battery of the Grosa Kurfürst. But these are the main guns of the Satsuma. In this video I show the design phase for 3D printable battleship guns. Here in this example I use the 203mm secondary guns. And usually I start with the gun house. I don't want to dwell on that too long because there's nothing really special going on. It's just, well, designing the gun house. But for those of you who enjoy watching time lapses, here's the entire process. And for those of you who don't, well, you can always skip ahead. It's only another 15 seconds, I guess? Something around that. The gun house is finished. I now export it as an STL. Then I bring the model into Prusa Slicer. In my experience, that's a very good repair tool for faulty models. Very good at dealing with flipped normals and other stuff. Then I bring it into Mesh Mixer, where I hollow it. And here it is important to note that Mesh Mixer only supports a wall thickness of 0 to 4 mm, so I have to play around with the scale a little bit. I play around with these sliders for offset distance, solid accuracy and mesh density until I'm happy with the result. It's a little bit of iterating here. Once that is done, I click accept and export the model. And now I can bring it back into Blender. From now on I will be working with this model. Time to create the barrels and the bearings for them. And here I can draw on resources I have created previously. I have in this file a lot of assets from German battleships. I have created them on previous projects and I know that they work for 3D printing. So we are going to grab the barrels and the bearings from the secondary guns of the Großer Kurfürst and bring them into our project. And first I'm going to adjust the position of the rotating mechanism and the barrels. After they line up with the reference images, it's time to make a cutout for the barrels in the gun house. Now I can work on the rotating mechanism. Right now the bearings are kind of floating in the air. So there's the need to extend the rotating mechanism a little bit. Once all of that is done, it's time to make a cutout in the gun house for the rotating mechanism. I did skip over the details, here's the final result. And this is what the arrangement looks like in the slicer ready for printing. Time to talk about the big guns the 510mm ones. For the gun house, it's the same procedure as every year. And again, I bring in some pre-created assets. The bearings in this case are a little bit more complex. But apart from that, it's pretty much the same deal. Line up the barrels with the reference, make sure that the bearings are in place, and also make sure that the rotating mechanism can accommodate for the bearings. Then make cutouts in the gun house for the barrels and the rotating mechanism, and that's it. Of course, in the end there's always the details, but I'm not gonna spend any time on that here. And yeah, that's the massive main guns. So let's move over to print and paint. First step is going to be removing the support structures. I make that very quick. After curing the parts, I assemble them. I am only using very small drops of super glue to glue the parts into place. I don't want to accidentally glue the barrels, that would be a very bad idea. I wipe off the excess glue with a paper towel. And after gluing the parts together I make sure that the barrels can still move. So, the main guns. The stuff why we like battleships in the first place. But I'm afraid when it comes to assembling them there's nothing spectacular going on. I put some super glue on the rotating structure. Then I put the barrels into the cutouts and then put the cover on top of it. After that again I make sure that the barrels can still move. Because I have glued them into place accidentally before. And I'd quite like to avoid that. Now I take the entire structure, the rotating mechanism and the barrels and put it into the gun house. Again a few drops of super glue and we are ready to paint. 
and the small secondary guns of course they can be elevated as well. And here a final look on the assembled guns. Time to get out the airbrush. The paint job is pretty simple and straightforward. First a base coat of black. Then another coat of grey. After that dry brush the entire model with a little bit of darker grey to highlight the edges a little bit. And yeah, that's the guns. Here's a final look on the finished ones. So what's up next? That would be the hull. It's gonna take a while and it might be a little bit more of a detailed breakdown. But of course, before I finish this video, here's another sneak peek. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon.